Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be reading the Reaper white paper and Reaper is a new or RPR is a new XRPL project and it is going to be doing some amazing things. If you have not already seen it check out the interview I did with the team uh, that's creating this awesome token and uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, this is an audio version it's just gonna be me reading their white paper which is really short and sweet and to the point. Gotta love it right? Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Of course, your watch time, views, and likes go a long way to helping me in the algorithm, so thank you ahead of time. Please make sure to use the speed if I'm going too slow. Uh, in the YouTube controls, there's usually a little gear in the upper right or lower right that will allow you to speed me up or slow me down, as well as the uh, YouTube uh, bookmarks that should be a red line just below at the bottom of the screen where you're seeing the video. Uh, and you can jump to different sections if you want to use that. But without further ado, let's get started. The Reaper White Paper When Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin, he wasn't simply designing a financial program. Bitcoin was the first solid object in a digital universe. Whether Satoshi Nakamoto was fully aware of it or not, in the creation of successful cryptocurrency, he became the god of a burgeoning universe. Though the digital universe or metaverse may be grand and beautiful, there are lessons from our own universe that we must heed. Performance breeds contempt. If we lived forever in our current life, would we still value life? Or, as the Reaper contends, does death itself give value to life? It took millions of years for the planet Earth to learn this lesson, to evolve bacteria necessary to decompose fungi and plants. But in that decomposition, was the nutrients, minerals, and DNA that gave birth to new forms of life. The digital universe has been flourishing on unchecked growth, but without duality of life and death, it has become polluted, full of waste such as inferior tokens and projects that offer little value, distracting from the health of the ecosystem, and worse, have at times victimized those who spent their finite time and resources on them, the Reaper understands that death is also sanitation. A universe, nation, or city can only reach its true potential when there is a mechanism for maintaining order. The Reaper will provide an economic engine through which those who are wise will utilize their share of RPR tokens to vote on the destruction of other tokens, or RPR if the community so chooses. On a monthly basis, Reaper will increase the total supply by 1%, and sell that supply onto the market at market value. The 97% of the proceeds from the monthly release of RPR will be used to buy at market the top voted cryptocurrencies as selected by RPR token holders. The other 3% will be used to maintain operating expenses for Reaper Financial LLC. The cryptocurrencies as voted by the holders will be bought in equal percentages to their vote. The coins or tokens acquired will then be reaped, also known as burnt or black holed. The coins or tokens secured and destroyed will be published for record, complete with the blockchain analysis receipts for proof of the reaping. What does the reaper add to the ecosystem? The current bull and bear cycles of cryptocurrency are programmed into the ecosystem by Bitcoin's halving mechanism. Upon halving, scarcity and price increase. After reaching a new parabolic peak, Bitcoin retreats to 70 or 80 percent into a bear market cycle, while the majority of altcoins will fall greater than 90 percent in value. Many people who are unaware of these cycles are left holding the bags of worthless tokens at a loss, especially if those tokens are unbacked by anything except for speculation. By having the looming threat of the Reaper hanging over the heads of altcoin projects, those who run from a project in a bear cycle may rest assured that if RPR holders vote on their token and wipe out a large swath of their tokens at 98% discount, there is a good chance that if they may never be able to acquire the same number of tokens they had previously. For this reason, the Reaper reinforces the value of holding. Though cryptocurrency is known as one of the most exciting investments of all time due to its volatility, the excitement of the four-year bull cycle typically involves a relatively dull three-year bear market. 
Because targeted tokens are purchased at market, RPR voters would be able to make substantial profits throughout the bear market by trading the targeted tokens on a monthly basis. The Reaper is a bear market profit driver. As the project grows, it has the potential to completely disrupt and replace Bitcoin's halving as the primary pricing mechanism in the market. If you were to ask what mechanism gives RPR tokens their own value, consider that as opposed to the four-year cycle tied to Bitcoin, RPR will potentially be in a monthly bull bear swing. Voting ends on the last day of the month at midnight, and the additional tokens sold at market are sold on the first of the month. This will encourage buying of RPR towards the end of the month, while those satisfied with their vote may sell at the beginning of the next month hoping to buy back cheaper. Each RPR token owned is equal to one vote. The 1% monthly increase in supply will either encourage holders to continue to acquire RPR tokens, or it will give new voters the opportunity to gain voting power. By shortening trading cycles from 4 years to 1 month, the overall growth curve of any cryptocurrency is smoothed out on a logarithmic scale. This is hypothetical. As the Reaper launches, selling 1% onto the market monthly may be a small amount that is in the thousands. This amount can still have a massive impact on other small cap coins. As the Reaper grows in size and effect, it will be able to have a significant impact on larger and larger projects. This provides a strategic opportunity to RPR holders. By knowing in advance the projects that will be reaped, the holders are incentivized to buy the targets before they are reaped, either to place higher sell orders for short-term gain, or to further decrease the target supply knowing that there will be a larger incoming buy at the beginning of the month. Take comfort in knowing that nothing is permanent. Life is beautiful in both its infinity and its finite consumption of a point in time. Fear not the reaper, for surely it will come. May Satoshi Nakamoto forgive us. Now I become death, destroyer of worlds. I don't know how to pronounce that name, guys. But this was written by Patrick L. Riley, Chief Executive Officer and Founder of Reaper Financial LLC. And below here, we have number one, the 1% 1 per month will never be greater than 1%. However, the 1% may be quartered in the future to allow for weekly reaping if the market cap of RPR token is able to support the increased frequency of use. Number two. Reaper Financial reserves the right to control the tokens nominated for reaping and to add or adjust the tokens eligible to be voted on as is appropriate for the protection of RPR users, i.e. a token with a high probability of being rug pulled will not be a votable token, as users may buy it in expectation of profit only for it to be removed from the exchange prior to reaping. Number three. Reaper Financial reserves the right to adjust the vote frequency without exceeding a 1% token inflation per month. Well guys, I believe that's everything uh, read so far in the guide. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you'd like more of these. I uh, hope this definitely helps. I definitely believe RPR will definitely be a game changer. Not financial advice, but just my own thoughts uh, and education, hopefully. <laughs> but make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like more of these. Uh, let me know about other projects you'd like to point me to. If you have anyone that is doing a project on the XRP Ledger, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm JT XRP, and I'm out.